Okay, uh, good evening. I've only got about maybe five, ten minutes before I have to leave for work. But uh, I wanted to get this in quick. And, um, I saw yesterday, so oh, this video here is going to be somewhat rehearsed. I tried to make a video of this yesterday, but I found myself repeating myself way too many times. So I had to deep six it. But um, it was about this forum post. This forum thread here I kind of liked, and um, well, by Joe seven seven seven, not enough tanks queuing for level 50, 60 dungeons and roulettes. Um, perhaps tanks should be given an incentive to queue for this roulette. Um, yeah, I, I don't, you know, what my incentive would be, clamp down on that eye level sink. Um, make it more strict. Uh, because as it is now, at least, I think. The three times that I've run it, no. One was snow cloak. One was another one. Ah, uh, it was required for a. And already I'm messing up. Might need to go up here. Um, as it, but um. Uh, one was snow cloak. One was another one that I was required for a scholar quest. But um, uh, in that one there was basically a wild dungeon. I had players pulling for me and stuff like that. I've never been there before, plus I'm not exactly the most geared tank, so pulled one group, I just had players running, players were like running off, pulling more for me, and trying to do my job for me and stuff, so it was like, like, hey, it's World of Warcraft all over again, but um, one incentive that would get me back into, get me into the, doing the roulettes, uh, tighten up the eye level sink, because as it is now, the differential can be, the differential is usually about 70 to 75 that's almost as bad as a wild dungeon i mean nobody respects anybody i mean <clears throat> i start the moment i start pulling everybody else starts pulling for me and all that and that's pretty much what i had to deal with and uh the the one i did um i'm trying to think what else but uh but yeah that that would be my incentive you know make it worth my while to be there you know, you know, give me your, you know, I basically, I have to matter to the group, and I think this here, to me, that could also go for, uh, me being a healer and me being a DPSer as well. I have to matter in the group, but if everybody out gears the content, nobody, you know, you know, nobody means shit to anybody, you know, <clears throat> healers aren't needed, because tanks so out gear the content that you know, they're practically immortal in there. DPSers don't need the heal DPSers don't need the healers in there because they already do so damn much damage they're gonna kill the monster before they take a lot of damage themselves. But But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go down the line. I don't I don't mean to call out or embarrass or expose any of the forum posters, but he it's a rather short post here, so. Uh, kind of bad when even a healer has to wait 15 minutes to get into one of them. Uh, if I was a healer, I ain't going to be waiting no 15 minutes. I ain't going to go in. I ain't going to do them at all. I mean, again, you're waiting waiting 15 minutes to get into a dungeon that everybody grossly out cares. Again, there's no point in me being there. Tanks aren't going to need me. They can, they can practically solo that stuff. DPSers aren't going to need me. They can practically sold all that stuff too I mean and then that and that's just if the uh I level sync exists I know I know for the level 60s part I know uh the latter part of them the ones that have the higher eye level requirement those aren't even synced at all uh, I think those are probably the differentials probably can probably as much as 50 I mean that's way too high you're basically running a bunch of Camp West ones is what you're doing with those. Just because, yeah. I don't understand that one. Probably a inside thing between these two. There's no incentive other than a few measly... Um, I'm one of those that's actually against that idea. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, I did, um, I skimmed through, like, maybe the first page or two. The majority of these, uh, 
the majority of these posts involve, yeah, give us better rewards, and then we'll run them. Whereas I'm the opposite. Don't get better rewards, because uh, for my four and a half years of WoW, that I was, based on my four and a half years of playing WoW, that's what I went through. I mean, raid-geared players were running them because the currency they had in WoW was universal. Everything from the, from the low dungeons, I think, all the way up to the high-tier raids, I think so. It's been a long time since I played, so I'm, details are hazy. But I think the cur the currency you got in dungeons was useful throughout all the end game content. And a lot of the raid gear players, that's one of the reasons why they're running the low run of the dungeons, because they grossly out gear and they could just <laughs> steamroll through the content quick, quickly and efficiently and get those whatever currencies they were. <clears throat> you know. So I had it. So it's very difficult to try to do anything in those dungeons when you got raid gear players just, you know, overstepping their boundaries, taking liberties on the tank. You know, the moment I start pulling, they just they all take off and just start killing stuff themselves. I mean, not my idea of fun. Let's see what else. It's a shame too because there's. Yeah, I'd agree with that. There's a whole bunch of level 50 and level 60 dungeons I'd, I'd like to try, but the thing of it is, is, I ain't touching them. I mean, like I said before, they're WoW dungeons. I mean, the moment I try to pull the first group, I got all, I got players all of a sudden sitting there trying to pull for me. That, that, that's probably one of my biggest pet peeves ever. It's when players try pulling. It's when players pull for me. You know, instead of just maybe telling me to pull more or just, you know, or even kicking me. I got no problems with that. And once again, if any, offering greater rewards for stuff like this is like putting, it's like putting, it's like trying to put out a fire with gasoline. It, to me, it's only going to make things worse. You know, now you're going to have even more of these overgeared players running them giving me an even less reason to run it myself. I mean, I'm, I'm more into... For me, um, primarily, fun is the reward. Is my reward. The, the, the extra currencies and stuff like that, it, it's secondary. But, uh... Most, yeah, most of these posts, though, they involve uh, offering greater rewards. Greater, tan greater tangible rewards, whereas my rewards are more intangible. Excuse me. The rewards I'm more interested in are intangible. I mean, I want to be able to matter to the group. I want to be able to matter to the group. I want to be the only one that can tank, that can be the tank in that group, or, or healer, or DPSer. I don't, see, this is a problem I had back when I played WoW. Four and a half years of sheer hell. Um, the majority of my time in WoW was spent tanking. I spent uh, some time uh, healing and even less time DPSing. But that... It's very infuriating to have to go through that. Again, part of the reason why I had to was because in WoW, the currency I, the currency they had for the endgame content was applicable throughout all the rest of the endgame content. Um, I think the most they had was like a... If you did heroic raids, or if you did mythic raids, you got a mythic token that can be spent on mythic gear, and then you had one tier below that heroic raids, you got a heroic token that you use on heroic gear. But even then, I think a lot of those still required the currency that you could get in the low-level dungeons too. So that really made a problem for me because I'm primarily a dungeon runner. I don't, I'm not a real big raider. So it, that just. I mean, that, that was just sheer torture from my end. Whereas, um, the few of these I did, they were, they were total throwbacks to WoW Dungeons. And to me, douchebaggery, douchebaggery skills was high level. Um, cause that's, and while at the start of every expansion, everybody basically started with the same gear. Nope, you didn't outgear the content. Uh, none of the players outgeared each other. What you had back, what you had at the start of those expansions was what they have here in the leveling dungeons, dungeons in this game. 
you know, you had a, you had a, you had a level sink that really clamped down. Um, my rec, my recommended, I mean, my recommendation for a tightening up on the eye level sink would be maybe 20, 30, not the 50 to 75 that they have in there nowadays. You know, make everybody's gear fairly equal, you know. Make everybody's role important. Again, no point, I mean, no point in me tanking these when healer can run off and pull these and, you know, survive them. And DPSers can run off over here and kill off these all by themselves. I mean, they ain't gonna need a tank. No point in me being there. But, anyway, I, I'm i running slightly late right now, so I've got to head back to work. All right, head back. I have to head to work, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, thanks for listening, and take care.